And then she comes back and she's telling him how the lights is about to get cut off. And he's like, well, why? I gave you the money for the light bill. And she's like, oh, no, you you already knew I was going to get my hair and nails did. You should have just known. And then you should have paid that light bill when you gave me the money for the, the hair. And nails. What? First of all, you supposed to be my partner. I can't pay the light bill. I'm going to be at work. You need to cover the light bill because I gave you the money to cover the light bill. You get your hair and nails did after we got electricity. Now we're going to be sitting in the dark. With your hair done. Yeah, it better be some damn glow in the dark hair. So say what you mean. Mean what you say. I said that earlier today. I'm saying it again now. Say what you mean to me. And mean what you say. Don't beat around the bush. Don't imply hidden messages. Do not try to talk in a riddle or talk in a haiku. Just be straight up direct. The the When a man asks you a, a question and you give them an indirect answer where you're providing a response, but you're not actually answering the question, that doesn't help. That doesn't help at all. That's actually uh, more catastrophically negative than you may think because a lot of relationships that strive off of communication strive off of that communication because of the ability to understand each other so if i asked you a question and you didn't answer it now i've got to ask you a follow-up question because you never answered the first question and i can't get the answer that i'm looking for which is it's not the answer that i want i'm not expecting you to say what i want you to say